Hey, beautiful people, it's your girl T, and I'm back, y'all. I'm back to do one of the most anticipated uh, videos every month on in the uh, diamond painting community or, you know, just like the re, what do you call the recaps? I don't even know what they call them <laughs> anymore, but uh, this is just um, all a video of all of the diamond paintings that I am working on and that I have completed in the second quarter. That would be anything be from um, April through the end of June. Yes, so April through the end of June. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video and let's go ahead and get started. So the very first thing I'm gonna share with you all are the whips that I am working on. And so the first one I'm gonna share with you all is this one. This has been a whip for me for a long time. It's a gorgeous image. Um, if I can find it, I'll pop it up on the screen. Um, the problem that I'm having with this particular uh, <laughs> diamond painting is although the image is gorgeous, I don't like the skin tone. If you guys can see this, it's orange and reds and yellows, and it's just turning me all the way off this diamond painting. I thought it was going to turn out until I started doing her neck. And I was like, oh wow. So I have, needless to say, I have stopped, uh, but I will finish it. I just don't feel like it because I'm not happy with it. <laughs> um, this is an AliExpress purchase. I usually write it on the back, so I know. Uh, but this is an AliExpress purchase. And so I'm, I'm really not happy with her skin tone. Now I know a lot of you all would probably just go in and change those. I'm not, I'm gonna do it just the way they sent it to me so that whoever is thinking about getting this knows what you're getting into and that you, you know, if you so choose to change the, the, the skin tones, do that, but I won't. I'm gonna do it just how they send it. Um, but this is a um, 40 by 50 uh, full round diamond painting. And this is a whip for me. All right, the next whip I have is a long, another long-term whip. <laughs> Uh, because this is the diamond painting that the drills are popping off of when I put them down. So after I do a section, I actually go ahead and seal it. So all of this here is sealed. So nothing's going to pop off. Um, this this section I did uh, during the quarter was just this section, I believe, here. And um, it went by fast because there's color blocking. Um, so I'm, this side is also a lot of color blocking, so I'm thinking I can finish this through the quarter or even just go ahead and attempt to do the whole thing because I'm really over this one, but it's still going to be pretty. It's just that it's it's the headache to work, you know, when on a diamond painting where the drills just keep popping off. I just don't like that. But um, this is a 40 by 50 as well, and it is, it's called like Roses in Paris or something like that. And it's just a lot of pink roses. And then you have the Eiffel Tower here. I don't know if you guys can see that. And with the pink sky and blue clouds, it's it's gonna be nice when it's done. It's just, it's a headache. So that is my second whip. And I've only done this section during that, that quarter. All right, another whip that I have is this cutie. This is Rosea. And this is actually a buddy <laughs> um, with the lovely Adrian here on YouTube, Diamonds, Crafts, and Crochet. Her and I were doing this together. Uh, she's already finished, I think. <laughs> I don't work as fast as she does. Uh, and that's because I have other crafts that I do. But um, So I did this whole section probably within a week. So I'm going to continue on doing this this weekend. And let's see how much I can get done this quarter. I'm thinking it'll go by pretty fast because this one has a lot of color blocking, as you can see here and down here. And you know, it wasn't, this right here, this section here was where you have to switch colors a lot. However, it doesn't bother me because it was, it went by fast. This is like a little lace type of design she has on. Um, and I'm thinking also her hair would probably be a lot of, color changing, um, but like in, sh in lines, which is, I'm okay with that. 
So, um, and I'm in actually enjoying her. She's really fun to do. And so this is hopefully going to get done this coming quarter. All right, my next whip is this gorgeous girl. Oh, this is Heidi. And this is a Camilla de Erica by Diamond Art Club. The last one was also Diamond Art Club. And this one I'm doing with my bestie, Lavelia. And I've gotten all of that done. All I have left here is the top section, top three sections. And I think she's almost done. Um, she put hers in bigger sections than I did. So I'm, um, I'm not as far ahead as she is. But we're working on this together. So she is gorgeous. She's been a lot of fun to do. I really enjoyed doing this area here with the dragons. And the background goes by fast because it's a lot of color blocking. This is a round uh, diamond painting. Although you see the variations of change here, it's still like color blocking. So it's been fun. I really, really have been enjoying this diamond painting. And I can't wait to finish it and share it with you guys. So that's another one. Last and certainly not least of my whips is this one. <laughs> this is the Golden Lasso. And, uh, and, and this one's a huge one, you guys. This is a 70 by 108 centimeters. This is my project. This is a, like a myself project. And so I believe this quarter I've done this whole section. I think the last time I showed you guys, I only had only done down here. And I think, so I think I've done this whole section here or, or this section since the last time I shared it with you all. This goes by pretty fast too because there is a lot of color blocking. It's just that I have a lot of things. To, I have a lot of projects and I have a lot of coloring books to color and puzzles and I do a lot, you guys. So um, I work on these in rotation pretty much. Um, I did try to push out more on Rosea because um, I know Bling works fast. <laughs> She works fast and I'm not working as fast as she is, but, um, I, you know, and I have other projects do, I'm doing larger projects as well. So I'm so happy to say I've gotten that section done. It looks so good. It's so sparkly and pretty. I can't wait till I get up in this section up here where Wonder Woman actually is. This section over here is going to be a lot of fun because it's going to be lots of glowing. And, um, I think those are ABs in this section. Um, yes, there's some ABs here. It's just going to be so sparkly and pretty. Right there, you can see the ABs. So pretty. This is a gorgeous diamond painting. And if you don't have it and you're trying to get it, I would definitely get it. It's so fun to do. All right, and that is all I have for my whips. Now I'm going to go into some things that I have actually finished. All right, the first thing I want to show you that I've completed were these um, coasters. Now, these coasters, um, I finished these, I think, a couple months ago. I just forgot to show them to you guys. Um, but these are so cute. And actually, I've gone ahead and put the little, um, I forget what that's called, on the back already. And so I'm going to actually be giving these to my employees um, this coming week because they're summary, right? So I'm going to give them to one to each of my employees for their desk. So yeah, I thought, that's so cute. I would love to share these with them. Um, a lot of them, I think my whole, my whole team is women. <laughs> so I'm going to be sharing those with them. And so that was really fun to do these coasters. Um, and it's a nice little gift to give them just to, you know, say, hey, thought about you and something sparkly for your desk. So finish those. Next, I finished this Diamond Art Gift Crystal Diamond Painting. This is just a 15 by 15. And um, it was really fun to do. I think he's so cute and it's so sparkly. Super, super cute. And so why not, right? I just, I, it didn't take me very long to finish this at all. I think I did this in a couple hours, <laughs> but I really like this. The stick is wonderful. I mean, you can't even move any of these. It was so nice. Um, so yeah. This next one I finished was a gift from the beautiful Adrienne from Diamonds, Ar Diamonds <laughs> Crafts and Crochet. 
and she sent me this strawberry shortcake. I love strawberry shortcake. I think she heard that one of my videos that I just absolutely loved strawberry shortcake when I was younger and I even had her costume. <laughs> And I have pictures with me in the costume and I loved it. I just loved this toy. It, for me, it was toys and then in the cartoons. So I had the toys and I think they're still in my parents' garage. So hopefully when I go back next time, I'll get to go explore the garage for some of my old toys. <laughs> uh, but this was a 32.8 by 32.8 full round. Of course, Diamond Art Club, I have no issues with any of it. It's gorgeous, and I'm glad to say I was able to get it done. And thank you again, Adrian, for this lovely gift. Next up, I completed this Cyber Panda from GBFKE. This was a 40 by 40. Uh, this one was really actually fun to do. However, it had more um, confetti than I would have liked. <laughs> I think he turned out absolutely cool. I think it's super, super cool. Um, it's just a lot of confetti. So if you're someone who doesn't like confetti, don't get this one. Again, this is a 45, a 40 by 40, had 22 colors. It's full round and the stick was awesome. I had no issues with that whatsoever. So thanks again to GBFKE for sending me this diamond painting. It was so fun to do. All right, this next one I posted on my, um, community tab. This was another diamond painting that was sent to me by, um, this was sent to me by Coup Deals. This is a 50 by 50 with 35 colors. Um, I started this and I think I posted a little short saying, the skin, why are they doing this? <laughs> Her skin is very orange. You guys can't really see that. It's orange. I didn't like the way it was looking so orange. But then I was like, you know, far away, it doesn't look so bad. And then I'm like thinking, you know, maybe it's got that hue to it because of the orange um, butterflies, like she's morphing or something. I don't know. We're going to just say she's morphing from a butterfly and that's why she's orange. <laughs> and uh, I really do like how, I think this is a gorgeous diamond painting. Um, far away, it looks amazing. Her lips and stuff far away look great. But close up, I'll show you guys. It's a lot of orange, orangey colors. Sorry, I bumped the camera. Lots of orangey colors. See this close up? But as you back away, it looks great. So I'm not sure how I feel about this. And as far as like the, the finish, I just don't like this down here. It's just too orange. But her face, like if it was just that, it probably would have looked really nice. Um, I had fun doing it. There was a lot of confetti. In this area and in the background, ooh! <laughs> but the gra the background looks great. I mean, it's it's just wonderful. Um, I love the way it looks. Um, but if you don't like confetti, don't get this one. And uh, but yes, I want to say thank you to Kudils for sending me this diamond painting. And that is all that I had, y'all. I told you I didn't do very much diamond painting, but. I think I did enough in the quarter to make me feel satisfied and that I'm actually, you know, um, doing something with the diamond paintings that I do have. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button. I'd love for you to become a part of the beautiful people family. All right, y'all. Until next time, take care.